Hello, long time no talk. As I bet you noticed, I didn't post a video last week because I was hiding. You wanna know what I was hiding from? Valentine's Day. But it's over now, so I can come out of hiding and be my usual cynical self. Even though I don't like Valentine's Day, I was very blessed to get several chocolates from different people in my life. Mom sent me a bag of Nestle chocolate chips all the way over here just for Valentine's Day because I had mentioned that I wanted to make chocolate chips. Isn't that so sweet? You'll notice that my bangs are still very curly because it's still rainy here. It's still rainy, but that's okay. I feel like I write better in rain. It will never cease to rain. The sun will always hide its face. And Shakespeare said something about that at some point, but I can't remember what the line is. The last couple of weeks, I've been trying to make a routine for myself because in the next month or so, I'm gonna actually start work on my dissertation. So excited, or nervous, I don't know which it is. We actually have to come up with our topic in the next week. I think I've settled upon something. It's still very broad, but it's a good place to start. So we're gonna see where it goes. If you'll remember, I have been studying Old English for about eight months now. I took an Old English language class last semester and I'm taking a Old English heroic poetry class this semester. And so I think it's pretty safe to say that my interests lie in Old English uh, literature. My topic as of now is looking at the idea of what it means to be a hero in Anglo-Saxon battle poetry. <laughs> Why does every dissertation or thesis seem to be a mouthful? <laughs> Basically what I want to do is I want to distill what being a hero means in Anglo-Saxon culture and then look at what that says about the culture. For instance, it seems to be a very good idea to be a very strong battle leader if you happen to be a hero in Anglo-Saxon poetry. And my big question is why? Why is it important to be battle and bloodthirsty? I went today from 10 to 5 and I was able to translate 80 lines of the Battle of Maldon which is one of the poems I would probably be focusing on in my dissertation. So much work. But oh my god, it's so much fun. I just like it so much. I mean, in the Battle of Maldon, the person who kills the most evil person in the Viking army is a little boy. I mean, he's called what he say on Wexen, which basically means a warrior that's not even full grown yet. He's literally a boy on the battlefield, but he's able to pull the spear out of this guy and slay the evil Viking that hurt Birkthok. I mean, it's just so, what, wow. In a culture that usually prizes manliness, manliness, and wisdom and experience over youth, that's so odd and it's so cool and I just wanna study that more. I'm having a much better time this semester, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I've met several professors who care about education. So exciting to be able to be back in a good educational environment again. Other things that are happening in my life right now, people are starting to come and visit me. I'm so excited. Uh, my friend Olivia will be here this following week. She'll get here on Sunday and be here until Saturday, and I'm so excited. It's going to be so great. And then my mother will be here soon after that. Um, not the next week after Olivia, but the week after that during her spring break. And that's actually going to be her first time ever in Europe. It's going to be so exciting. I can't wait to show them around. It's going to be great. All right. Best wishes.